I think you are one of the only ones to write your own song. I was the only one. So what? how important is it for you to write your own music? You know, I think that everybody I like and everybody I listen to doesn't, they don't really, they write their own songs. Mm -hmm. And so, like, it's very, like, it's a rock and roll thing, I think. It's a very like attitude kind of right. like, even if the song sucks, we're gonna play it louder so you right. like it more, right, right, like right. kind of thing. Um, and like, I mean, that's what it is for me. Is it just kind of one of those things where like it, they mean a lot to me? Mm. It feels like rock and roll. Now, have you ever experienced co-writing with anyone? I've never written with anybody. Are you open to even trying that, or do you want to just keep so. it to yourself as much as possible? I like keeping it in my camp, but I would definitely do it. Mm -hmm. Now, I know you, we've talked before how you've had maybe 15, 20 songs already like, that you've been working on. Um, 50. 50. 50, sorry. Jeez. Okay, so when you have so many songs like that, how do you really break them down to if you're going to release a single or if you're going to release an EP or an album? Well, I think the great thing about this song was like on paper, it's not supposed to be a single because it's really heavy and deep and like yeah. slow and it's like a ballad. And it, it, I mean, it went over well. It's number one on iTunes right yeah, now. Congratulations. Thank you. And so that's what I like about this kind of stuff is sometimes maybe the things that you would think would work the most on paper, work well, right. are not the best ones for you to do. So th did this song kind of speak to you from the get-go and, you know, that's why you performed well, it tonight? This is, one of my f this is my favorite song I've ever written. But when I sent, I sent like 30 songs in to be like listened to yeah. for people to pick. Jeez. And... Um, we were set on another one. We were going to do another one. And then we listened to this song that was sent in by a very famous songwriter that had sent in a song for a contestant to do. Mm -hmm. And then they were like, let's hear a couple more of your originals. What's your favorite one you've written? And I was like, it's this one. And we listened to it. We got through, we got through the chorus, and they stopped it and said, we don't need to hear anymore. This is your song. Wow. So when you sent the song in, and when you went into the studio, did it change much? Did you have to do any more production to it? We added a little kind of like break in the middle but the song is a lot longer than that's the best part is when i re-record this for my record there's gonna there's like the first verse and the second verse are both cut in half so there's like oh, okay. there's still more right um we had we just had to cut it down to like a three around 320 to, to for tv purposes right. yeah, so we added that that, that little instrumental section where like the big chant the, uh, we did that we added that uh so now, now moving forward from here, you know, tomorrow we have the, the finals. And then after that, you know, what, what is your plan? What do you ultimately want to do? I'm going to hit the ground running, man, and make a record as fast as I can. We recorded that single in, in three hours, so wow. I can do ten songs really fast. I like that. Now, today's five performance. Days, six, five, six-hour days, and I'd be done, man. you done, man. Album coming in, like, a month. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, that's my plan. Yeah. Legitimately is my actual plan. No, I'm in July. I feel like I feel like tonight's performance. You you interacted a little more with the with the crowd. Yeah. What was that like for you? Do you feel a lot more comfortable on stage now? It was a blast. It was a blast. I was like, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave my all out there.